morning and happy 2nd of December. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope uh, the weather isn't affecting you too much and you're still able to get about and do what you want to do and um, it's not too cold for you all. Um, we've had, yeah, we've had like minus five degree weather overnight, so it's been freezing. Um, and we've still got loads and loads of snow. So, um, yeah, we are, regardless of that, going to head off to Raby Castle Craft Fair, um, Christmas Craft Fair soon, which um, Raby Castle is in County Durham. Um, if you know the area, it's sort of like towards, it's sort of in between Barnard Castle and Darlington, I think. Um, so it's a little bit of a drive for me, but um, yeah, that's the plan for this morning and then probably a chill afternoon, really. Um, not a lot else, not a lot else planned, so um, I'm going to get really wrapped up for that because, as I said, there's loads of snow here and it's so cold. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get a bit of Christmas shopping done, hopefully get some Christmassy footage. Um, Raby Castle's lovely, it's got lovely grounds, lovely big lake, it's got obviously the lovely castle and it's got a deer park as well, so I'm hoping for some deer footage. But we'll see. We'll do our best. Um, I'll see you there and then catch up with you later. because I haven't filmed since, I don't know, the start of the afternoon or lunchtime or something. Um, I've just had such a chill afternoon and I just didn't, yeah, to be honest, there wasn't much worth filming. I, um, yeah, got in from the craft fair, had lunch and then I've been crafting really, um, stuff like that. So uh, the craft fair was really, really good. It was, um, it was beautiful, it was wintry, it was snowy. Um, on a practical sense the snow was a uh, like it, it was really really cold my feet like hurt they felt like blocks of ice so on that side not so great but um but it looked lovely and I, the rest of me was wrapped up like very well so I wasn't too cold just my feet were in pain but um but the craft fair itself was really really nice I went with my parents my grandparents and they really enjoyed it too uh, there was lots of lovely crafty bits, um, 
which sounds like a daft thing to say, but you sometimes go at these craft fairs and there's a lot of stuff that's not like handmade and not actually handcrafted and it was pretty much all of that and um and there was a lot of food and stuff too i didn't actually get much at all but my mum did get a few bits and we got some cupcakes and they were like incredible they were huge and i got a brownie one and it was it was amazing and um we also got some samosas for lunch which was a bit different i think we sort of half planned to like grab a bacon butty or something like that um but yeah we went a bit random and we got samosas i think i think it was my dad's decision really it's his sort of food um and i'm i had a chicken tandoori samosa and it was uh it was lovely we uh heated it up when we got back and it was it was really really tasty um so yeah, other than that, didn't really buy much at all, but there was loads of lovely stuff. Um, just nothing that like grabbed my attention that much, I guess. Um, we really fancied a hot chocolate or something, but the queues were enormous. Like the whole place was completely packed out. It was free entry, so I suppose that's probably part of the reason. Um, and fairs, I suppose, around this time of year always are really busy. But um, that's great for the business. This is businesses <laughs> that's uh really good for them that um yeah it was so busy um unfortunately didn't get any deer footage that's um well i did i was inserted some but it's like pathetic really <laughs> the um we only saw them on the drive out of ruby castle um yeah they were all sort of congregated in one space they were probably all trying to stay warm and stay away from the massive amounts of people so can't blame them at all but um yeah I saw we passed them all on the way out but they were such a distance away I had to go I had to go at getting some uh, video of it but yeah but yeah since we got back um we just we had our samosas and our cupcakes um super healthy lunch obviously and uh Yes, I've just had like a really lazy afternoon, which I really, really don't get very often. It's very rare that I just have a full afternoon and evening in. Um, so I've really made the most of it. I um, I have a craft fair coming up next weekend. I'm doing the Oosbane Market, which, yeah, the 9th and 10th of December, I think it is, next weekend. And, yeah, that takes so much prep and there's... I think I'm doing both days, so that's like a lot of stock really I need. So anyway, I've been spending the afternoon doing making for that really. Um, the sort of things I make are like, I do a lot of basic beanies, basic scarves, um, little animals if I can, little Christmas decorations around this time of year. Um, autumn time I do like pumpkins and um, I'll show you, hang on. There we go. So this is my absolute bestseller. <laughs> is my this is the Squiddy. Um, if you've been following the channel for a while, then you will be very familiar with the Squiddy. I'm sure. Um, I must have made so many of these since I started crocheting, like so so many. Um, but they always sell, and people love them. And they make, you know, they make a good gift for someone, they make a good sort of fidget toy, they make a good thing for someone's desk, like, um, yeah, they're great, they're, <laughs> they're really great, that's my own pattern as well, so, um, yeah, anyway, so I've made quite a few of those this afternoon, and, uh, yeah, just trying to get as prepped as I can for next weekend, but it's, like, nearly nine o'clock now in the evening, so... I'm going to stop with the craft fair making, I think, and I'm going to chill out a bit, probably still knit, but I think I'll get on with, you'll have seen yesterday, if well, if you watch Vlogmas Day 1, I was um, working on something with the craft, and uh, it's living in my lobster bag. It's just another Jason's Cashmere hat, which, again, if you follow my podcasts, I've made one before um and it's a wonderful pattern but um yeah it's it's looking really nice 
so far. So I was trying to like get this done for last Wednesday. I was trying to make it as a gift for someone in who I was seeing on Wednesday. And I, I think I started it on the Monday and I got really far so quickly. And I was out on the Tuesday, so yeah, anyway, I tried to really rush this. Um, and I got to a few rows before where I am now. Um, so that was the fastest I've ever knitted since I started knitting. Um, but alas, I did not succeed in finishing it in time to gift it. I think I still will gift it, but um, not as intended. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the pattern, this is the Jason's Cashmere Heart, which is a free pattern on Ravelry by... Melissa Thompson, that's the one. That's my pattern there. And that's what it should look like in the end. Um, I'm using the Croft, which is the same yarn I used the first time I made it, um, which is, you know, 100% Shetland wool. Um, but this time the colourway is Stony Breck. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so um, that it was supposed to be a gift knit. Might still be a gift knit, but I'm going to finish it anyway and uh, yeah, see what comes of that. So I think that's what I'm going to get on with now because I'm a bit squiddied out. Um, and maybe put some Netflix on. Chill out, have a yeah, chill evening. Chat to you in a bit. <laughs> Hello, back again. Um, I forgot when I came in from the craft fair that I had some happy post waiting, but I got so distracted with samosas and squiddy making. Um, so I haven't even unboxed it yet, so I thought I'd share it with you because I know exactly what's in here and it's the sort of thing you lot would like to see. Let's unwrap. <laughs> So, you've just seen it, um, but yeah, so the both skeins are, they're from the knitting shed, I mean they're clearly both from the same place, I didn't need to say that, um, but yeah, they're from the knitting shed, which is, yeah, I've talked about them before in my podcast at this shop, it's just a wonderful, wonderful wool shop online, don't think they've got a shopping person, but they do go to yarn shows, not that I've ever seen them at a yarn show. Only ever ordered online from them. Um, but I recently made a shawl, the Simply Curious shawl by Helen Stewart, out of um, their Inns with Imprint BFL Masham DK yarn, um, which is exactly what this is. Um, so I recently made that. If you follow the podcast, I say you will have, um, you will have seen that. And then in the last podcast, I also talked about what I was doing with the remaining yarn. And I started making the, I think it's the inner world scarf, um, which is living in my gorgeous Eldermood craft vegetable bag. Um, And uh, one of the patterns not in there, but um, yes. Yeah, so I've I've been making the in ear well scarf, which is gorgeous. It's quite a bit darker in person. I think this lighting's not really showing it off properly. But um, am I going on a tangent? I'm not even sure if I am. Yeah. So I started making that with the leftovers of the knitting shed, Ainsworth and Prim, BFL Masham, green yarn, 
from the shawl. But yeah, because I started making this, I sort of had intended to just do a cowl or something that would only need the amount that I had left. Um, but I didn't and I got carried away and I decided to make a scarf instead. So I've ordered another skin and that's what that bit of the order is. This is the colour, a jolly nice green. Um, yeah, and it's such a gorgeous yarn, so I didn't even, I just didn't care that I had to order more, I really didn't, and it's a shop I like 100% want to support. So, what's another order? Um, it's got a gorgeous spin on it, it's really soft, it smells of sheep, beautiful yarn, and um, this has worked up so quickly, this pattern, and I really like the texture, I think it's lovely, it's really cool. Just something a bit different, isn't it? So, um, so that's what half of the yarny happy post is. Um, so that's nice, I can continue that now. I was at the point where I didn't have any yarn left to continue that. Um, and then the other skein I got was the exact same yarn in the shade Barley Twist. And the reason I bought this is that I already have two skeins of this in my stash, but I've got a plan. And there's a pattern on Ravelry that I've had my eye on for a while, like a really long time. And it's the Humbly Shawl. I'm going to put that on screen because my pronunciation is probably not correct. Um, and yeah, it's the Humbly Shawl. I think it's by Fibre Tales. I'm looking for my phone so I can check. Yes, it's the Humbly Sh Hum Hum Humbi. Hmm, that's not even like the word I was picturing in my head. Anyway, it's this pattern is gorgeous and I've seen a couple of people make it and it looks amazing and I'll try and put a photo on screen somewhere so you can see it. And it's it looks like quite a simple shawl in general but then the border has um i wouldn't call them puff stitches but it's see as i'm in i'm quite a new knitter for those who are maybe new here i'm, I'm quite a new knitter so i'm very bad at describing things um or knowing many stitches i i'm not bad i think we cut out there i don't know where i got up to um but yeah, it's a really gorgeous, rustic looking shawl, or at least all the versions I've seen look very rustic and that's so my style. Um, completely love the look of it. Um, and yeah, I had the two skeins of this yarn in my stash and I thought they were kind of perfect for it. I um, I definitely wanted to make it with a yellow-ish yarn, but not too bright. And this is, I don't know, this is kind of somewhere between like yellow and brown, sort of hayish. I mean, Barley Twist is the name, which, you know, it makes sense. But I think, I think this is sort of the perfect colour to sort of keep it, you know, give it the yellow tones that I want it to have, but keep it looking rustic. And uh, it's such a beautiful sheepy yarn with such a nice spin. And yeah, I think, I think this is the yarn for the project. So hopefully that'll get cast on relatively soon um I, this was the third skin obviously to have the yardage i needed right enough on the rambling and the tangents from me um that is my happy post very happy with my happy post um super excited to cast on so nice and super excited to finish this project who knows a couple of Welcome to today's time, you might get to see a finished scarf. Who knows? Right, I'm going to disappear and knit. Do more knitting. Maybe catch up with you later. Unless I forget. Mm -hmm.